Okay, so check it out. Today, talking about something completely different. Uh, it still follows under the, the umbrella of longevity, integrated medicine, anti-aging medicine, but not necessarily under the umbrella of like TRT. But yes, it does have a place in health optimization. This is called methylene blue. And unless you've worked in emergency medicine, um, trauma medicine, or anesthesia medicine, it's probably quite foreign to you. In fact, it's foreign to most healthcare practitioners. Now, historically, methylene blue is considered an antidote drug, and it was used for the condition, which is called meth hemoglobinemia. Now, meth hemoglobinemia is an acquired condition. And in this condition, it's where your hemoglobin are converted to meth hemoglobin. And meth hemoglobin are essentially functionally useless hemoglobin. So when you ingest methylene blue, now, mind you, methylene blue can be taken as a trochee, like a sublingual that dissolves your mouth. It can also be administered via a capsule. And historically, in the most common way that people will take methylene blue is through an IV, IV drip, or some people do a slow push. It's not recommended to do it via injection because it can cause, and the odds of this happening are very small, but it can cause you know, a localized abscess. So that's why we do not recommend taking it via injection. Again, sublingual, capsule, or IV. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's get to the nitty gritty and talk about the benefits of methylene blue. In terms of mechanism of action, the two primary ways that methylene blue benefits you is, well, let's talk about the first one. The first one is it acts like an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter and it primarily acts at the postsynaptic junction. Now, the biggest benefit of acetylcholine is that it's going to improve cognitive function, it's going to improve memory, and overall your focus. Think of it this way. If people have progressive loss of acetylcholine as characterized in some neurological and dementia type disorders, such as Alzheimer's disease, what's going on is they're progressively losing acetylcholine, hence why they're having this progressive cognitive impairment. Now, by inhibiting acetylcholinesterase, you're preserving more of that acetylcholine, therefore you're gonna maintain the acetylcholine pools, which are gonna exert themselves on your neurological function. And the other principal mechanism of action of methylene blue is that it acts like an electron acceptor on behalf of dysfunctional mitochondria. It's kind of like saying this, it's kind of like saying you are working in an assembly line and somebody calls out of work, guess what? Methylene blue steps up to pick up the load. So essentially methylene blue is like saying it's a wingman that helps out your mitochondria. Some of the biggest benefits that people report from taking methylene blue includes sharper focus, they feel more mentally and cognitively dialed in. I've had some people say if you, your focus, your cognition feels almost like you're on Adderall minus all the side effects of Adderall. Since methylene blue does preserve your acetylcholine pools, it's possibly implicated into preventing uh, cognitive decline or cognitive impairment or possibly any neurological like progressively worsening neurological diseases such as like Alzheimer's. Interestingly enough, methylene blue also can increase serotonin, so it could possibly be implicated into treating uh, depressive disorders or anxiety disorders. So that's a great combo to add on. Not only do you think sharper, think more clearly, have better mental acumen, but also you're in a better mood as well. And lastly, as I mentioned on the previous slide, methylene blue does act like a quote unquote wingman on behalf of dysfunctional mitochondria. And since dysfunctional mitochondria are implicated in age-related diseases, age-related decline, such as poor cardio metabolic health, poor cognitive function, what we're doing is by introducing methylene blue, you can make your body more resilient against developing such declines. Leave a like and comment under this video and check out my new ebook, Acne on TRT.